so hello welcome back to my youtube channel so today i would like to show you how you can create a very easy way stylized character whether for unity or whether or uh, for your unreal i mean okay so you can create your stylized character using the cc4 this is very uh, quite good yeah because if you create like zebras, uh, I think zebras is not for beginners. So zebras is for like who already know about the topology and masses and and texture, etc., etc. Okay, right here you are. You are get all the easiness to create character. So if you like to create character, so just go to the content right here. So inside here there are two templates one is the template from the official uh illusion cc4 and the other one is from custom so i would like go to the template uh illusion first and let, let's hold to, let's go to the actor and right here inside the actor we have base so there is a cc cc3 and this one is the neutral from cc4 so let's drag this one or for male and this one is for female okay so if we like to create female for example just drag this female character and wait okay we almost done here So, as you can see, the character is very realistic skin, right? So, we want to create a stylized character uh, for our stylized game in Unity or Unreal. So, in order to create the stylized texture, texture I mean, uh, you can just go to Reillusion. Yeah, Reillusion uh, Marketplace. There is a uh, a template already made by uh, the creator. So just go to custom right here. Uh, I already have that one in here. So I will just go to the. Where is the? I think inside here. Not character, but the skin. Let me find the skin. Uh, ah, this one. Okay. So right here is all the skin that I have in my uh, Reillusion custom template. So right here we have the stylized skin texture that we can apply to this character. Okay. So because uh, our character is kind of skinny and young how about if we just drag this uh, skin texture this one put it here and this is uh, pop up to apply our material so yes we're going to apply all material for our character we also apply the shader texture we also Oops. apply the parameter okay so just apply click apply to apply to all the skin texture and material so right here we already have the stylized skin texture of our character okay if you put here if you go to the face the face also get the stylized character so this is already good for your unity yeah so if you if you want to use unity for your game engine you just need to go to the uh, export export as as fbx and then uh, you just you can choose the selected character okay but we going to um to export it into fbx for our meta human i think i will just show you how to edit in metahuman in the next video because i will make it short for this video just to show you how easy to create a stylized character 
So, in order to create 4K resolution texture for your MetaHuman, you can just go to, yeah, by the way, before we go here to update the texture, before we go here to update the texture, we need to go to this one first. And then you have to, you have to choose, uh, you have to choose like the body, the head, and the nail right here head body arm leg nail okay so all of them is skin okay we, we have skin texture so we want all of them in 4k texture okay so go down go down until you find skin color and then just click here activate skin color and before you can uh, uh, choose your texture to 4K, you have to bake this one. If not, uh, you cannot edit the texture in MetaHuman. Okay, so bake it. Wait, I think I will just make sure again this one has bake. There you go. So let's go to this one and then activate this one activate this one okay so as you can see right here our texture is 2000 so we go just make it high okay and then we choose the body Just wait. And then we check for the other part, which is the arm, leg, and nail. So we have arm already 4K, leg already 4K, and let's check the last one is nail already 4K. So we can just quit from this editor and it will be bake for the last. Okay. Just wait. Okay, that's really good, yeah. And as you can see, this one is amazing, yeah. If I go to this one, look how glowing the skin of this character right everything looking nice okay so if you want to edit for example the color of the skin you can just go here you can put texture you can just edit the uh, the balm or the blemish or everything in here but i will just make it simple like this and then I will just go to file, export, and then export to FBX, uh, choose the selected, and then I'm going to choose the Unreal because this is 4K. So, and then I will just choose the mask. So, because I think it is easier if you um, just, uh, what is it? Just separate your maze from your animation in Unreal because uh, animation in Unreal will be handled by retargeting, right? Because we need to retarget it at uh, the animation. So just uh, just export the FBX maze. Uh, uh, later, you can just export the animation. Or if you good with that one motion and animation, if you have already motion in here, you can just also choose the uh, mess and animation so for me i will just choose the mass so and then after that uh 
we just we just we just uh not embed the texture and then um oh, right here we're going to make sure that our texture is like in 4k and then uh right here if you want to like keep uh your underperformance uh faster or uh not slowing because of the so many texture so you can just delete the hidden face but because i need to know the whole body of my character in order to tweak a bit about the the about the dress uh, i'm not going to click here and so i will just uh, bake the views and then bake right here and then if you want to use the subdivi subdivision go ahead but I will not use the subdivision I will just use this uh, 4k resolution right here and then you can just hit export and then after that there is a like warning you cannot go back again to edit this character yes we know and then click OK and then right here I will just go to my folder project and I will just go to my CC4 CC4 project and right here I will just name it to stylize a woman and tut for tutorial so done I think I need to create folder this is named tut okay put it here and then save it and that's it that we done so if you want to edit in or convert or uh, yeah just edit into the your meta human you can use your meta human uh, or you can just use the unreal life link yeah I will show you later how you can use unreal life link to like go instantly from your CC4 to your unreal uh, meta human okay so i think that's it for now see you again in the next class where i will show you how you can edit your character in meta human from cc4 character that we already have in here have a great one bye bye see you again in the next video thank you